What's up, everybody? It's your boy Roy, Hotbox TV, Hotbox Magazine. We're in Denver 2015 Glass and Vape Show. Plenty of glass out here. We had to stop by Terry Sharp Glass, okay? I eyed some of his pieces. I was like, you know what? I really like that artwork. So, Terry, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. Yeah. Awesome. Nice little event we got going on here. Yeah, definitely. Are you local here yeah. to Denver? Yeah, Inglewood. Oh, you're from Inglewood? Yeah, yeah. south side of Denver. South side Inglewood, that's not California. No. Uh, but Colorado. So let me ask you, man, I mean, I'm looking at your art and it's definitely very intricate. It looks advanced. How long have you been doing this? Uh, right around 18 years. Wow. Yeah, long time. A long time. You've seen long. it all. Yeah, I've seen a lot, yeah. A lot. Yeah, Maybe not all lot. of it, but... No, not all of it, no, been definitely not all of it. Along for some of yeah. most of the ride. Yeah. <laughs> so, 18 years ago, you start blowing glass. We're in 2015 now. I mean, what's it been like? What's the journey? What, what, what's it been like? It's been a crazy progression. We never... I don't know if we ever thought of it would be this big, yeah. ever. We didn't, didn't ever think there would be shows where we could display pipes. Yeah. It was always just selling out of gun cases at a rock concert or something. That's the thing. So it's it's kind of taken a whole new life and it's become more of an art form. Yeah. There's all different styles of pieces, you know, all different techniques and yeah, it's just wild. How has it been adjusting to the differences in how the market is working over the years and sometimes changing instantly? It changes all the time. Yeah. You just, uh, through social media, you can kind of keep track of what's been going on. Yeah and go from there or just kind of, I put, you know, I know how much time I put into a piece. Yeah. Therefore, I know what I generally need to get out of it. Yeah. Um, yeah, so So, like how did you get your start? I mean, what, what made you want to come and start producing art? Pipes? Yeah. Uh, the Grateful Dead. Grateful Dead. Yeah. I had yeah. a feeling when you told me about <laughs> selling them at the rock concert, I was like, yeah, yeah, I've yeah, heard that yeah. story before. Yeah, oh yeah. Uh, yeah I just Grateful watched the documentary on Netflix recently about all the issues with the feds and how they, you know, all shut those us different, down. Shut yeah. it down. And I was in the Midwest at that time, and I was working with like three different head shops that were yeah. buying everything I made. So I really didn't feel that effect because yeah. they didn't come to our door. Yeah. But I had a lot of friends that had ankle bracelets, and they got in a lot of trouble for it. And now look at us now. We're yeah, legal again. Yeah. Now we're legal. I mean, I guess. <laughs> What was the issue? Is what yeah, we're trying to figure right, out. Right. It's 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 always been a gray area. And so, yeah. Some states still struggle with that problem. Yes. They do. I'm from Indiana originally. Yes. And you know, doing this in Indiana, I always looked over my shoulder because I didn't know if they were going to try and come in and it's all on how they shut interpret it down. The law, yeah. Correct? Exactly. So, I mean, what's your main focus when you design pieces? I mean, do you have a specific style, or is it just whatever is it you're in the mood for? Kind of whatever I'm in the mood for. Uh, a lot of colors, yeah. really. Like I'll see a color and I'll want to make a piece with that color. And then you know, what kind of piece haven't I made in a while? What can I do? I have a big, vast majority of tricks that I know. So, let me ask you, man, because I'm a big, I like bongs, mm -hmm. and nobody's making bongs anymore. I know you used to make them back in the day. Yeah, right. Everyone What's used up to with make that, them. Man? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Like, yeah, little mini tubes are good. They do the same process. You just don't get that big four-footer. Do you ever do those anymore? <laughs> no, no. I work, everything I make, I make by hand. I don't have a machine to spin the glass. A lot of the, the bongs are made on the machine. Yeah. So. That's interesting. Uh, the hand pipes that you have are also excellent. I mean, the choices of colors. I mean, are you have art background? No. No, I took like art classes in grade school and whatnot, but nothing, nothing like nothing professional, no. Awesome. So, I mean, the gla I mean, 18 years in the game, seen it all, been through it all. You're getting a quality piece. Uh, have, I mean, has your style changed a lot over the years? I mean, how do you... My, my style constantly is changing. I think that's what keeps me fresh, keeps me in it at this time. I'm not stuck making the same piece over and over again. Yeah, because uh, you know I've taken the time to learn from different artists, to learn different techniques, to you know to just advance and always try to come up with something a little bit different. That's the interesting thing that I saw about the industry, uh, and maybe I'm wrong now, but from the documentary is 
a lot of this is either learned on your own or you have to have people show you certain yeah. techniques and then like the naming convention of the techniques and how things come about i mean the book has yet to be written right yeah come up with a name for something but you know like I mean I mean the book has not been written yet no, the, the no, actual no. the course has not been no, put together because it's evolving so much every day this is changing oh my god every so. day there's someone sitting in their garage doing this that's coming up with something different that we haven't seen yet and we're not going to see it unless it comes out to like a place like this or else someone buys it and then it sits at their house or on the hotboxmagazine.com yeah, okay so you know, so where can they find you? How can they get a hold of your glass and start buying it? Uh, you can find me on Instagram. My name is Terry Sharp. Just look on that on Instagram. You can find me there. That's about it for social media for me. What about a website? Anything? No? No website. No nothing. So, I've been trying to keep it grassroots. Just kind of keep it underground as much as possible. This is what I would say, people. If you go on that Instagram and you see something you like, uh, you do sell the smoke shops, right? Oh, yeah. So the biggest, the most powerful thing that a consumer can do is go into a shop and say, I can't get this glass anywhere else. You need to start having it in the shop. Right. Yeah. Sounds good to me. Well, this is Hotbox TV. We're out. <laughs>